project. So this is a messy side here, but it's functional right here. We've got rain barrels. They're all connected with bike inner tubes between them all, all the way back. We've got them all fairly level. And then this side of the shed feeds these here. So it takes uh, three quarters of an inch of rain to completely fill eight rain barrels. So roughly 400 gallons. It's like a water line. What a diameter of a hose. My gosh. It's all the same diameter. <laughs> oh, it's starting to get smaller. Barely. Oh. The 30 foot rut. Cut it there. That's all I had handy. A little teeny pocket knife. Look at the size of that rut. Need to be rinsed out. Supposedly they rinsed them out, but I opened up the valve and thick syrup came out. Do a deep dive. Looking good. I will, uh, Fit some more blocks underneath there. I'll just kind of get it lined up now for sizing of the plumbing and stuff. So. Might as well make a tight corner and go underneath here. So yeah. Fish this under here. Yeah, why don't you do that? If, if it's not going to cause an issue, that if it's shouldn't. not too tight. up gutters today you know this is all in preparation for gathering rainwater and the rainwater is used for my wife's garden so we're lucky the garden is downhill so it's all a gravity feed system oh so we just have to have a bunch of hoses going down to the garden down 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 to the garden I'll show you the garden quick melons Tomatoes, cumbers, I think, beans. Oh, this is gonna be another project. We're having trouble with uh, rabbits and uh, deer to build a, uh, a, what they call a roll fence. I'm thinking I can 
custom fit the joint, take it apart, mount one up there, bring the other one up and then just slide it in. I think it slides in nice. banded so trying to push the pieces together drill a hole for my rivet well I drilled a hole in my finger good going getting there I uh, added the uh, extra blocks underneath the totes uh, everything gutter wise is up I have to cap this end yet, but I was waiting until I got the downspout. So I think I got that all figured out. It's coming down there and a couple of brackets I made and coming over here. And then we're just gonna dump right into that big hole once we get a, a woman's nylon filter on there. I guess it could be a men's nylon filter. Never seen one of those though. Job complete. So this uh, blue barrel rain collection system I installed back in uh, 2011. It's been working working pretty good. It's just we uh, we it doesn't quite make the the whole summer without running out of water if we have a dry summer. So like this one. So I don't think I mentioned what this one is gonna add for uh, gallons. So each of these are uh, 275 gallons. So probably 550, you're not gonna get everything out of them. So we're adding an additional 550 gallons to the 400 slash 440 system that we already have. Well, today's the day doing uh, testing and then we're gonna make it uh, a little funner than just testing we're gonna we're gonna actually see uh, see a race I think we're coming up with a new sport here so it's rain gutter uh, I was gonna be rain gutter ball races but I couldn't find enough like balls that were the right size so we got just floatables we'll call that Sally sleepy smiley not sure mad mr mad those are our contestants here we are i'm not sure if this new sport is going to catch on or not it's not very spectator friendly and uh but we'll, we'll you know you never know all right, we're all set. Full blast. Stuff going down the drain now. 
look down there. There's corn in it. it. Looks like we're gonna have to shorten that up a little. One over the top. If the other ones are coming or not. Oh man, Mr. Mad took it by a landslide. There he goes. Ah, he will pass the finish. That wasn't very smart move. The other ones can get unstuck. They might, they might win. The bad is just to bend it down a little bit. So as I was away checking for leaks, I think I heard. There he is, the official winner, Mr. Mad. So I retrieved them, all the uh, stranded contestants. And I think I know what happened at least to Mr. Unsure is uh, he probably didn't hear the start because it looks like he had his ear bug in. Probably slowed him down too. One last thing to do, just have to retrieve the hose.